So I have here a simple Godot scene. The only thing that this scene contains is a control node. And the control node itself doesn't do anything, but it has a script that's attached to it. As you can see, the name of the script is main script.cs. And let's take a look at the code itself. So here it is, and as you can see, it's a very simple script. All I did here is define this function, add two numbers, that gets two numbers and returns their sum. And then I call this function in the ready function and display the result. Now, since this script is attached to the control node, when I start my game, the script is run and you can see the result here. Result is 10. Let's now say that this code is too complicated for me and I want to split it to two different files. Specifically, I want to move this method, the addition method, to a different class in a different file. Here is how we can do it. Let's get back to the Godot editor and let's create a new script to which we'll move the add to numbers function. So right click, new script, and I'll call it math helper. Now, the thing is that we need to change what it inherits from. We don't want to inherit from node, we want to change it. Here I'm going to look for resource, and here it is, resource. That's what we want to choose. So let's click on inherit, and now we can see that our script is going to inherit from resource. Let's create a script. And the script was created. Let's now get back to Visual Studio Code to change the code. So let's open our new math helper file. And as you can see, we got a new class that inherits from resource. And unlike the classes that inherit from node, this class does not contain the ready and process methods. Now, what I want to do is move the add to numbers function from the main script to the new math helper class. The thing is that when I get back to the main script, it doesn't recognize the add to numbers function anymore. So what we need to do is create an object of the math helper class, and then we will be able to use our method. Now the object is going to be a math helper object, so that's the class I'm going to use. And here it is, math helper. And let's give a name to our new object. And let's assign a new instance to this object. And now that I have the object, I can use it to access the addToNumbers method. 